Hey guys and gals, it's me, George, the Shade Tree Fix-It Man. And I thought you might enjoy seeing one of the projects that I did back when I was still building houses and doing remodeling. Uh, as you'll see on the video, this was done in 2002. I was a little bit younger then, a little spryer. I built from small ones like you see me leaning on here in the shop where I used to work to full-size houses. Hope you enjoy this short video. Thanks for watching. At the Addy residence in Lakeville on yeah. Pontiquet Drive. All this fabulous craftsmanship. We we're building a, a big addition here in the middle. This house over here was built, as I understand it, in 1760. And uh, the house, well you can't see the other main house because it's got the addition all the way across it, but that was built in 1670 and then this addition was added on later. Both houses were moved from Middleborough originally back in 1929. By the Turner Brothers. By the Turner Brothers? Is that true? Turner Brothers. And that's Tommy, say hi to the folks here in Camerland. Uh, this is Tommy Akers, my number one right-hand man. We're going to take a little walk inside and show you what we've been doing. And then we'll, uh, I guess I'll take a walk around the outside. Get the outside of the house first. Whoa, if I don't fall down in the mud. It's a beautiful piece of property here. guys over there up on the roof are taking a rubber roof up there to put on top of the addition because it's such a flat pitch and that hunk of stuff is pretty heavy all one piece of rubber goes about 40 feet plus and about 18 feet wide the long pond is down there through the trees you can't quite see it from here there's the original house Gambrel style. That one was built in 1670, as I understand it. And then the, that middle section is the addition that we've added on here. Originally there was just a little walkway between the two houses. And then here you have the Colonial that was built in 1760. They were moved here from Middleborough, where they were on two different locations originally. See where our trim changes the shape of the back of the main house there. The front of the main house is also going to get reshingled. It's about 35 degrees today, which is not bad here in the sun. Okay, we're going to go inside. We're going to go into the porch area. If I can do this without tripping and killing myself. You look through this window, you can see the original wall of the house in there, and that mullion window in there, that's coming out, that's going to be a half wall. This is the whole purpose of the addition right here, the set of stairs to the second floor. The original set of stairs in the back of the house is about three feet wide. And each step is about 10 or 11 feet, 10 or 11 inches high, and real short treads. We saved those arch doors. They're actually going to be closed, and you won't see them from the inside of the house. They kept for a facade. 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 Tommy's work. New word for the year. There's the other one. On the other side. Okay. Big huge LVL that we put along here. Laminated beam. Carry the way to the new second floor. Come up here. I'm going to pan up to the ceiling because this is going to be a vaulted ceiling up in here. A little bit dark in here because we got most of the windows locked off. There's a this is one of the original bedrooms in here. 
we've opened this all up. It's going to be cathedral ceiling, has these exposed beams. I know what you're doing. And we have a, an inspector behind us. Yep. Not good enough. Too, too, too wobbly. We had to cut these beds out. They're not doing anything anymore. But because uh, the new ceiling is held up by the LVLs up there, tied in on either side. And this is the mess we get into with our floor in the kitchen. Found out they only had two by fours with a little piece of pine. Oh, yeah, bathroom. I was thinking kitchen because they're ripping out the kitchen in my house when they buy the house. We put an LVL there. We're going to add a new LVL across here and all the floor joists after the plumber gets here, hopefully today. And that's an extension on the next bedroom. You can see more of the post and beam construction. And there's going to be a big transom window there. Back around here. There's Tommy again. Hi, Tommy. <laughs> 